everybody. So in my previous video, we built a multiple CSV chart application using the capabilities of Lama 3, Ulama, and Panis AI. So you can actually chat with multiple CSV documents and you can do data analysis and visualization with that all locally. So you don't need any API. All right, so in this video, we are going to focus on optimizing the inference speed with Crook. All right, so we are going to do that to perform data analysis and visualization. So I've already covered Grok in my previous video, so I won't go much into the details of that. All right, so I'm going to show you how this works. So this is how we are going to see it running. So we are going to browse and upload PDF document. So we, we are going to upload CSV files. So I'm going to upload this document. So I'm going to say open. All right, so when you upload it, you should see a drop down menu. So you have the option to select whichever files you want to chat with. So I'm going to start with the uh, this file. So this displays the data frame. So it displays few rows here. So it displays three rows. And it has, it is actually a data set that I have here. It is a policy ID. Um, details of card information, right? The fuel type, the model, the segment, the make, the airbags, right? So we have all this data. So we are going to do some analysis on this data. And we also have um, CSV that is the Irish data set. I'm, I know some of you are familiar with that, all right? So we are going to, to perform some analysis on this one as well. All right. so. Here is the, the first data set that is the card claims.csv that I have already selected. So I'm going to ask questions. So I'm going to say how many rows and columns are in the data set. And so when I hit, right, so when you start chat with CSV, and let's see how it's going to display the answers. All right, perfect. So we see five, eight, five, nine, two rows. And let's see if that is accurate. Let's go down. And we have five, eight, five, nine, two, which is correct. All right, so we have 28 columns in the data set. All right, so let's ask another question. I'm going to say, which make has the highest number of air packs. So when I do that and I say, all right, the make with the highest number of air packs is Honda with 34,490 air packs. Wow, I love. It's actually giving me the numbers of the airbags that I actually ask, which is awesome. All right, great. All right, awesome. All right, so the next question, let me let me ask the next question. So I'm gonna switch it over to the iris. Let's ask a few questions. All right, so I'm going to say, so I'm going to say, let me just say, all right, the summary, statistics of data. All right, so let's see. Awesome. All right, so here is the answer. All right, so we're gonna actually take you through how to do this step by step. All right, so let's get into it. And in my VS code, 
right? So I already have the breakdown here. So in my VS code, we are going to need to install these requirements. So we are going to install Streamlet, Langchain, Grok, Grok, Pandas AI, Pandas, Langchain Community, Python.env, then Langchain. All right, so we need to get our .env to interact with the Grok API. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So in here is go to console.grok.com slash keys and you get into your API key and you just click on create API key. It should give you an API key. So you're going to copy this and you come to your VS code and you are going to paste it in here. All right. So let's get back to the requirements. So these are the requirements and these are the app. So you create app.py. All right, so let me close this one and let me open a new terminal. I'm going to quickly walk you through this. All right, so if you don't have an environment, you just go to terminal, you say Python, that's MV, MV, EMV, and when you hit enter, you should install and create an environment just like this one. So we have that created, so we need to activate it. So we are going to say, EMV slash script slash activate. So when you hit enter, it should activate, create, you activate your environment just like this. So we need to install the requirements. So we're going to say pip install star requirements txt. So when you hit enter, it's going to install all this requirement that is needed to run the application. Awesome. All right. So the next step is we need to inside the Apple Pie, we need to import pandas as PD. So we need the Langchain group, import the chat group, we pass our Lama 3 model and Streamlit as ST to create a framework to create a web application and .env to interact with, to load our environment variable from the .env. Okay, so we've created here. So Pandas AI import this smart data frame. And the next thing is the suit is going to interact with the data frames. And we import the OS to create some path. And we are going to load the environment. So we need a load.env. And we create a function to check the, the CSV data, or CSV files. So we say chat with CSV files, we pass the data frame and the query so we load the environment variable from here and we create a function to initialize the conversation chain with a crook model so we create an api variable called the crook api key and so we pass the crook api key here that we've created here and we initialize the crook chat with the api key the model name and the settings so we call a variable Called LLM and inside the chat group, we pass the API key, the model name, which is the Lama 3. We are using 70 billion, so we are running that from group. So we are using the chat group to do that. And we take a temperature of 0 0.2, so you can change this depending on your use case. All right, so you initialize the smart data frame with data frame and the LLM config. So we create a variable called the pandas AI and we initialize the smart data frame and we pass the DF and the we pass the config. All right, so the config is the pass the LLM and the data, the data frame. So we chat with the data frame using the provider query. So we create a variable called a resource and we pass the query into the pandas ai chat so we can get the results here all right so we just um, lay layout configuration you want the title to be like this one multiple csv chat up powered by llm and we upload multiple csv files so we want to create a sidebar upload and we want to say upload your csv files and the type is they are CSVs, 
and we want to accept multiple CSV files. So if we have a CSV files uploaded, so if input CSPS, which is this one that we've created. So if there's a file uploaded, we want to select the CSV files and we want to get a file name from the CSV files and we want to, we want to select the index of the CSV file that have been selected, right? So we want to load and display the selected CSV file. So we want to write something like CSV file successfully uploaded. And we read the CSV files that have been selected using the index, selected index. And we want to print the head. We want to do like three rows. We want to use in a container width, which is equal to true. And we want to enter the query for the analysis. And now we want to say chat below. And we enter the query in the text area that has been provided and we perform analysis. So if there's an input text, we want to see a chat with CSV button and we want to pass the input text, that is the query. And we want the results passed into, so we pass the data and the input text and we get our results, right? So we create a variable to hold these results, right? And we display the results. Okay, so we're going to try this out and I'm going to say streamlet run up to pi. And when I hit enter, let's see. All right, so I'm going to choose the files and I am going to select these two files again. All right, so this one I'm going to say which policy ID has the lowest policy turner. So I want to see the policy ID with the lowest policy turner. So I'm going to see see the response awesome so the policy id with the lowest policy tenor is this id all right so let's continue with that and see which nick has the lowest Let's try and see something here. The lowest standing radius. Okay, oh, let me see. That's the lowest standing. Oh, gearbox. Lowest gearbox is Honda. All right, okay, so let's see. Let's turn and go to the Irish data sets and let's create something there. All right, so I'm gonna say, so let me ask, which, type of issues as the highest sepal, sepal length. All right, so when I say Chadwick, awesome, Virginica, right? Great. All right, so I'm gonna say what is the Average value of sepal length in petal Our width for Irish. 
Iris. This is. All right, sepal average, sepal length average with zero. Okay, five point vertical. All right, all right, all right, awesome. So vesicular five point nine and virginica six point five eight. Awesome. All right, so let me try, let me create chart and let's try the last one, maybe draw a bar chart of species and sepal length. So we wanna draw a bar chart of species and this sepal length. Okay, let's try it, let's see. Awesome, so we have our species and the sepal length. So we have a chetosa, I think the name, etica and vesicula. So we have the, uh, the bar chart with the uh, mean sepal length, which is awesome. All right, so you can see it here in your term chart here, where you see the export. Right, so guys, this was all that I want to share with you today, and I hope you liked this video. So let me know how you feel about this model, Lama 3, performing data analysis and data visualizations. All right, so do well to subscribe and hit the like button, and see you in the next one.